Hey there folks, Tim Slater from the eLearning Designers Academy. You know, if you've been working to create a project in Articulate Storyline or maybe Rise 360, one of the things that you've probably wondered and one of the things that I know I get asked about all the time is how and where can I publish and host my project on the web so that I can put it on my portfolio and maintain that project even after maybe you don't have an articulate license anymore or after the trial ends, right? Now, I previously recorded a video, which I'll link to up down up here or, or down in the, the description, showing how you can publish and host your project on Google Cloud, right? And that's still a totally viable option. I've seen other people use AWS or Amazon Web Services, but I'm gonna be honest with you, those two options, while they work, they are horribly, horribly complicated. And a lot of it doesn't make any sense. Like you have to create buckets and put things in the buckets and you're like, why? is it called buckets? And then you're feeling like, God, just like Jesus, take the wheel and get me through this so that I can host my project. Well, I'm going to show you a new solution that I just discovered this week. That is like so freaking easy. It's just a couple of clicks. You drag and drop some files and your project is on the web. And the best part is it is completely free. You don't even have to enter a credit card and it is called Netlify. So here I am on my desktop and I'm going to walk you through it step by step, how to publish your course out of Storyline or Rise and how to put it on Netlify so that you can host it, put it on your portfolio, all of that great stuff. Now, in addition to this video, check out the link down in the description for a step-by-step -step article inside our knowledge base, inside our free community that will walk you through these steps as well. All right. So here I am on the Netlify website. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is to help you understand the pricing. Now, it's completely free. You don't have to enter a credit card, but there are some things I want you to understand about it. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the pricing tab here where we can see the different pricing tiers. Now, Netlify by design is meant for hosting websites or web apps, but you can also use it for hosting your e-learning projects. Anything that really publishes out to an HTML format, you can put and host here, all right? Now, there's different pricing tiers. We're gonna obviously focus on the free tier so that it's completely free. You don't have to enter a credit card. There's no risk of you getting charged or anything. But what I want you to understand is that the tiers work based off of credits, all right? So you can see down here, the free tier gives us 300 credits per month. Now, what are credits? I don't know what credits are, but here's what I do know. Each time you do a particular thing in Netlify, it costs you credits. The great thing is though, these credits refresh each month, right? So technically you have an unlimited number of credits, but you have a limited number of things you can do each month. It's still not gonna be an issue for the vast majority of people, but let me explain it. So you get 300 credits per month. Now, if we come down here, here's how the credits work. First off, production deploys, that costs 15 credits each. So each time you upload a project into Netlify and create a new project, it's gonna cost you 15 credits. Now, it would take dozens, several dozen, uh, maybe several dozen, I can't do the math. It would take a lot of projects before you would expend your 300 credits, right? So 15, 15 credits to upload and publish a new um, project, right? And then the other two that you need to be aware of is bandwidth and web requests. So web requests are the number of times somebody requests the project. Essentially, they're clicking the link, accessing the link to load the project. That costs three credits per 10,000 requests. Now, unless you're like, you know, you have hundreds of thousands of people going to your portfolio, checking out your projects, which is, you know, I mean, no offense, not likely. You're not going to exceed the 10,000 requests per month. And then bandwidth, 10 credits per gigabyte. So how big is your project and how much data are you transferring for somebody to watch it? 10 credits per gigabyte, you're probably not going to exceed that unless you're having multiple projects with a lot of high quality media, 4K video or something like that. The chances are you aren't going to exceed that. But here's the good news. Because you're not even going to enter a credit card, there's no chance of you getting charged. If you were to say exceed your credit limit, you would get notified and all would be good. But the chances of that, very slim. All right. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to walk you through getting into Netlify, then we're going to walk through publishing a project out of Storyline, and then project publishing a project out of Rise, and then I'll show you how to upload those, get the link, all of that great stuff. Now, if you already know about publishing out of Storyline and Rise for the web, feel free to skip all this junk and fast forward, but this is where we're going to start, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and log into my account. Obviously, you can create an account for free with your email. I'm just going to log in with my email if I can remember my email and password. Keep our fingers crossed. Yay, we're in the account. Now, when you first log into Netlify, okay, 
there's going to be a lot of things that you don't understand. I don't even understand. Like watch NTL deploy. What the heck is that? I don't know. Or members and audit log or security scorecard. Heck if I know. You don't need to know what any of this stuff is. I'm only going to focus on the parts that you need to know and you can like put up your blinders and ignore the rest. All right. So here we are in the account. Now, First thing we need to do is we need to have a project upload. So let's go do that. Let's publish out a storyline in Rise. So I'm going to minimize this. And I have a storyline project here. You know, it's just a regular old project. And I'm going to go ahead and click the publish button to publish it out. Now, if you're not familiar with publishing, there's a lot of options here. You can publish to Review 360. I have another video that I'll link to up here or down here about publishing to Review 360. If you do have an Articulate 360 account, like I'll be honest, this is probably the easiest way to publish and host your project on the web. You're not supposed to. I do it. So does everyone. You know, but you have to have an account, right? Beyond a free trial for that to work and maintain that link. So we're not going to talk about that. Obviously, you can publish to LMS. For some reason, you can publish to Word. I've never understood that. We're going to talk about publishing for the web, right? So we're going to publish for the web. Don't need to do anything here. We'll click publish. And, you know, with the powers of editing, we will fast forward through the freaking 15 minutes it's going to take to publish this out. So I'll see you in a minute. All right. Hey, it finally worked and published. All right. So now before we continue, and before I show you how to uh, publish out for Rise, the one thing that we need is the zipped folder, right? So when you get this publishing window, we're going to click zip. We'll put that on our desktop as well. And we'll save the zip file because that's the thing that's going to upload to Netlify. Okay. So we're done publishing out of Storyline. It won't let me hit close here. Can I close here? No, I don't want to view the project. See, you publish something and then, oh, there we go. I thought it froze for a moment. All right, we'll close out a storyline. We are done with that, okay? And here is our zipped folder here. Here's also the published file. I don't need that, so we'll drag that to the recycled bin. So we have our published storyline file ready to upload. Now let's quickly, let's publish and export a RISE project for the web, if you happen to be doing that, right? So let's go ahead and open up a RISE project. I have a dummy project here. Again, you know, Whatever you create in Rise, that's fine, right? I'll go ahead and click Publish here. Just like with Storyline, we have a couple different options. Publish to Reach 360. I don't know who uses that. Publish to LMS. Publish to PDF. We're going to publish to web, right? We'll publish to web. It's going to publish the course. And we'll email you when it's ready, but I'm not going to open up my email. We'll just sit here and give it a moment. And again, use editing to fast forward. All right, so it's finished publishing out the project and it has put it into my downloads folder uh, right here where we can access that. So I'm going to go ahead and move this to my desktop like that. It's a content folder. It's going to move it. Great. We can close out of this. Now I'm going to zip this as well. So I'll right click and how do we zip? Compress, right? Compress to zip file, right? And it'll make our compression or our zipped compressed file there. There we go. And I'll delete that. All right, so we have our two projects that are ready to go into Netlify. All right, so let's go back to Netlify and let's start uploading. We'll start with the Storyline one and then I'll show you how to do the Rise one. So when you are ready to upload and publish your course, um, you're gonna go to your Projects tab here and there's a couple different options. You can import an existing project, start from template. I don't know what any of that means. Or you can do deploy manually. And this is where we're going to uh, put our files. So you can browse for a file or you can click and drag. So I'm just going to click and drag my file on here. And we'll start with the Storyline one. Whoop, put it there. It's going to upload. Please don't refresh. I won't. It's uploading. We'll give it a moment. All right. So now once it's uploaded the project, it's ready to go. We don't need to really do anything else. Now, it's going to give it weird names like Fluffy Madeline. Madeline? We can change that, whatever we want it to be. All right. Um, so we can come in here to project configuration. Here's all the information here. There's deploys, logs, all sorts of weird stuff that we don't need to know anything about. We can come up here, project configuration, change project name. If we want to give it a more meaningful name besides Flatty, <laughs> Fluffy Madeline, <laughs> not Flatty. What is that? Okay. We're going to call this one uh, Web Istia Consultation. Okay, we'll hit save and 
and now it's renamed our project Webistia Consultation, right? Now, the link to this is going to be this green link here. We can go to Project Overview. It'll be here. Now, if I click on this, it's going to say Project Not Found, right? Here's what we need to do. Really simple. Once you get the link, all you have to come up here is do this. Do a slash. I don't know if it's a forward slash or a backslash. It's just the slash, you know? And we're going to do uh, story.html. And then it'll work. There you go. There's a project. So now I can take this link, copy the whole link, use that on my portfolio or whatever to share my storyline project. Easy peasy. Just uploaded it, got the link, renamed it from Fluffy Kitten or whatever it was, and added slash story.html. Now, one thing I'll mention too is that if you ever need to update the project, right, you can always come back in here to, where do we do? Is it project configuration? Somewhere in here. There's a place where, maybe it's deploys. Yes, you come into deploys and uh, need to update your project. You just drag the new one in here and it'll replace it, all right, under that deploys tab, right? All right, so let's go back to our projects. So here, here's our Webistia one. Now let's do the Rise one. Now this time I'll go ahead and click Browse to Upload and we'll go to the desktop. And where is it? Mm, am I not seeing it? Desktop. They're there. Let's just do content. There we go. I don't know why I couldn't find anything on my desktop. All right. So, um, Clinquat past Lido. Mm, who knows, right? Let's go ahead and click the link. Now, uh, one of the great things about when you put a RISE project in here, you don't have to do the slash.story.html because the way Netlify is working is it's looking for the index file, and that's already done because RISE is a web-based tool, and so it's working. So you don't have to do anything with the link. The default link is going to work lickety-split. But, of course, we can come up here to project configuration. We don't like this project name, <laughs> and we'll call this, uh, you know, I think it's soliciting and responding to feedback. So we'll call it, you know, uh, responding feedback, right? We have 37 characters, click save. And now we have our project, the link updates. And there's our project. And we can copy that, put it on our portfolio, and we're done. All right. So that's how easy it is to use Netlify to upload your projects, distribute them on the web with a link. You don't have to pay a single dime. You just drag and drop, copy the link. If it's storyline, you do the dot, da, 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 story.html, and you're all set, all right? All right. I hope that's helpful. Now, if you like this video, and if you haven't done so already, make sure to hit that like, subscribe, and bell button to get alerted the next time I publish a video just like this one. And of course, join us inside the eLearning Designers Academy and our free community uh, at elearningacademy.io. And we also have the article that walks you through all of this step-by-step -step there. Um, that's where we help new instructional designers and instructional designers and e-learning developers grow their careers by focusing on skills first. Otherwise, my name is Tim Slade. Until next time, I'll see you around. Whoa.